backstage in Arizona. Joel, who is our next guest? Our next guest is a very talented zither player and goes by the name of Ecom Bo. Is that your real name, Ecom? Well, it's a name I devised from my real name, actually. From your real name? Yeah. Well, what is your real name? Well, Ernest Michael is my first and middle name, and I never liked being called Ernest or any derivative of that. So I took uh, Mike backwards as Ecom. That replaced my E. Well, that's really interesting. <laughs> and you've got a very interesting instrument. How did you get started playing the zither? Well, um, I started in about the ninth grade. I'd already been picking guitar a little bit for a couple years. And uh, the uh, zither I found was a little 28-string instrument in the Salvation Army. I bought it for $10 and took it home and rebuilt it, got it going, and uh, found out I could make music on it and liked the sound. And then when I was in college, a girl gave me another one. It was a 64-string model from Germany. And uh, I liked that even better and played that for about seven years before finally I felt the need for building a larger instrument so I'd have, you know, more keys available and, and just general more versatility. Now, I own auto harp, and they have the felt pads that make the chorus, and this is an open tuning. What's yeah. the difference between an auto harp and a zither? Well, there are a lot of different types of zithers, up to 300 different kinds. But the kind I have, uh, each chord is open strung, and uh, you play music by mixing chords and changing from stack to stack, whereas the auto harp uses a one set of strings for all the different chords. And you finger pick with both your hands. That's right. Uh -huh. Well, let's take a look at how it is to play the zither. Okay. This is a very fascinating instrument. It's like you lifted the lid to a piano, and here you are going to be picking on the strings. Have you ever thought of doing that? Uh, I used to mess around like that when I was young, yeah. How many strings does this instrument have? This has got 126. It's broken up into 12 different sections. Each section is a chord. And you made this instrument yourself. Uh -huh, that's right. What gave you the idea? Did you have a model to work with? I had some smaller instruments that didn't quite go as far as this one does. And I yeah. just took it and projected out on that. What are the levers? Uh, when you drop the lever, it makes a minor chord. When you raise it, it becomes major. That works on each one. And how long have you been playing this instrument? Well, I've been playing with him for about 14 years. I just built this larger one uh, first about six years ago. Well, it looks like it's an antique. Yeah, it gets a lot of beating up. Well, thank you for being a part of Backstage in Arizona, and we're going to enjoy listening to some of this. Thank you. Thank you. 